y'all my name is lisa reed this is your first time here to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today in today's video i figured i'll do kind of like a first impressions type video the first of many i love 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 hauling trying new makeup products um just seeing how they're gonna look on me um, I love looking at first review, uh, first impression videos here on YouTube. So again, my name is Lisa Reed. This is your first time here. Go ahead, sis, hit that subscribe button. Show some love while you're here. Like this video in advance because I know you're going to like it. Comment down below and let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, y'all. Once again, I have a better light situation now. As you can see, I'm in my beauty room area, um, beauty room slash like home office area slash workout area slash everything. So behind me is like my work desk for my actual job jobs is. Today is MLK day and we're off today. Praise be to God for that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank God for MLK and all that he did for us. Now he stood for with justice and humanity and all those good things. So anyhow, that's that set up in the back. I thought I'd go ahead and point that out because you're going to see it. Um, and then here is actually like another vanity of mine. I met my vanity, vanity that I actually do a makeup at right now. And that's actually one I bought a while back. Um, and I just kind of used it as like my nail station when I was doing my nails faithfully, uh, which I'm going to get back into doing. So anyway, to not chat too much, because I don't want another long video, we're going to go ahead and get into this um, first impression video. So I kind of bought some things from, I'm looking down here, I bought the, uh, the stuff I'm going to be using then, of course, is here on my vanity desk. So the star of the show is this e.l.f. Uh, new Camo CC Cream. I'm hearing so many people say it's like a foundation. And then so bomb coverage and everything the packaging is like really cute really sleek i'm here for it and also about this i y'all i have a problem i love target i did like a little target run and i should have filmed that little haul but i don't really do hauls through my channel per se i'll just show you the things that i've bought makeup wise but i'm not like a hauler um so anyways this is the new elf no budge um shadow stick uh interesting i want to try this out too i want to do something simple i hope i can try it out today anyway um, and I just bought, you know, I'm more so into pencils now for doing my brows. Um, I used to use those retractable kind of, eye um, brow pencil things, but I like the pencil pencil. So I bought this one from Maybelline. It was only $4, I think probably five with tax. And I got the new, well, it's not new, but new to me. Um, I saw a lot of rave review and rave reviews on this as well. The Sonia Kashuk, Kashuk, however you say her name. Um, sponge is out the box now. I've already um, dampened it. Make sure I got all the excess water out as best I could anyway. Um, it's really pretty. Cute, right? Um, so anyways, that's all I got from Target anyway. So I want to go ahead and get into this look though. So my face is already moisturized and um, prepped, prime, not, well not um, prime, but um, prep for my skincare from this morning routine with my moisturizer and all that good jazz. I keep forgetting I got my stuff right here. Uh, so today I want to use this, uh, I think I used this last time. I did I use it last time. No, I didn't. Or I don't know if I did or not. Anyway, go ahead and prime my skin. I want to use this Milk Hydro Grip Primer, this little mini trial, um, one that I got. Y'all, if I'm looking over here too, because my window, I'm trying to capture all the best lighting I can. And in here is actually the best, um, the, uh, best lighting is in here. Because two windows right here. And so... I have my blinds up, and so it's bringing a lot of beautiful lighting from right here. And my other ring light is here, and I have another light here that I'm looking in. So um, I actually I actually talk about this product I, I'm using now anyway in my um, my next upcoming vlog anyway. It, it should post next week, I think. I should get it up next week. But anyway, I bought some stuff from Amazon to help a sister out because <laughs> the quality and how I had my setup for my last little chit chat when i was doing makeup it wasn't really what i would have liked um but you know we all start somewhere um and here we are so i ordered this new tabletop kind of like ring light situation and i'm loving it so far and i bought another mirror another vanity type mirror i took the mirror i have all my vanity off so i can have more space to put all this up here which y'all can see it of course so i need to stop moving so much and hopefully this doesn't fall but so anyway about another mirror vanity mirror let's just press it in a little bit now, y'all, I'm not one to do brows before. <laughs> I'm a brows after kind of girl. More so because I do a lot of natural type looks. I don't do the absolute most. Um, and again, this is just like something really light today I'm going to be doing anyway. And like I said, this is a CC cream. Advertised as a CC cream. But I believe from what I've seen too, it looks like a foundation. It's a full coverage foundation with what it's looking like and giving the girl. So 
we're gonna see how it looks on me anyway and i just pray to god that this color works now with most cc creams um from my experience thus far being you know so new to makeup hold on <laughs> is that um you know the range wise is not always the best for deeper skin tones so i'm very impressed with elf this is the shade deep 540 n um, and meaning with neutral or warm undertones. And I do believe I have a warm goldenish e undertone going on. Um, they had a deeper one that was for like rich, I think was the title of it. But anyways, it was a pretty decent shade range for a CC cream anyway. So, and I go off of other influences that I follow heavily and like what they review and their first impression. And I'm like, okay. And like I said, I love Andrea Renee. I keep raving about her, but I do. Uh, she's, we kind of shade twins. Some of the stuff she wear, I can kind of wear, get away with. Um, oh, y'all, I forgot it has a pump on. I'm so here for the pump. You got this up the way. I got a lot of mess up here that, that need to be here. That's kind of, um, I'm so OCD about a lot of stuff that's in my way. Anyway, this is what the product looks like outside of the box. Um, cute. Pump. Okay. Elf. Like, they, they be with it, for real. For a drugstore type product with pumps, you know, they just really coming for these high-end um, products. Anyways, this is retail for fourteen dollars. I'm here in the U.S. of course, so it's right right at fourteen dollars for this, which is pretty doable. I feel like it's not bad. Um, Elf products are very usually affordable, so let's just pray and hope this works out, sis. Cause, woo, yeah. Let me see if I can shake it. I'm supposed to shake some of these products. I don't know if you shake because it it's in like this tube thing, but I'm gonna shake it anyway. Um, go ahead and apply it. Perhaps squirt it a couple times to get it to come out. Yeah. Um, so. Let's wait till it decides to come out. I need to make sure I have enough down in the tube already for it to come on out. Okay. There we go. I think. Yeah. If I heard something. Okay. I have a habit of putting it on my face first. I probably should put it on the sponge and just go from there. But I like put it on my face and then go from there. All right. Y'all, I'm just loving my lighting situation. It's so much more better. And y'all, this is on gym day too. Um, I only, well, I discussed this in my vlog too. I'm, I dimmed down my gym days to two a day, two days a week. So this is my day to do legs. So I wanted to go to the gym first and then do this video. But I'm like, nah, I got to capture this light. And wow, it is so good. It's not a cloud in the sky. This is the best, 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 best filming setup. So anyway, let's go ahead and blend this out. Again, Sonia Cash sponge I'm going to be using here. I'm going to use this flat end here. I right hear it's so bomb in regards to blending out. Um, foundations and stuff. I'm going to look down this mirror I have here too, y'all, so I can get a better view as to how this is really looking. And, oh, okay. Ooh. Looking a little olive ish on me. I don't know. Um, hmm. Look at that coverage, though. That thing spread. Ooh. <laughs> Let me find out, L. Yes. I never could get my hands on there. Um, I take and spray it around too. I'm tripping. I do do that first. Their um foundation, like it in the stores and stuff, even Target and like CVS and Walgreens and drugstores, they never ever have like the shade that I'd be looking for, which is I think it's Coco. It's a shade that Andrea wear, and like I said, I usually can wear a lot of the shades that she wear in regards to shade references. Since a lot of this stuff you can't swatch and not supposed to in drugstore try on and stuff like that. So. But so far, this sponge is blending like a dream, though. And let me get my mouth good. I'm really not a sponge type chick. I really like brushes when it comes to blending out stuff. But ooh, the finish, though. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. It's giving a little something, something. Yes. Ooh, this is beautiful. Y'all. Wow, for a CC cream, this this a foundation. Like, I don't care what you say. This is a foundation. Like, do you see that? And I got a little glow to the face and on the skin, but that's probably from that moisturizer that I use too. Um, I guess that will bring a little bit down my neck here. I'm just so proud of my light, and that's so much more better. I should have did my first video on here anyway, but I, I don't know. The sun was kind of tripping that day. It was bright at first, and then it kind of kept going in and out under the, some, there was some cloud cover that day. It kept going in and out under the clouds. And, um, so yeah, so let me go ahead for the sake of this video. I'll go ahead and, um, get on my eyes. Bam, I'm in my little bathroom set up, child. 
you know you know it was all right but it wasn't something that i loved after watching it back y'all that's the sponge for me too like wow like this covered up pretty darn good if i may say so myself like wow wowzers i'm looking like is this you hmm close up yo y'all ain't playing they're coming for them pockets <laughs> but for 14 dollars though can't be that with a stick sir yes ma'am all right <laughs> okay elf you better y'all get excited with stuff you looking good like wow or a CC cream though. Say less. I'm going to make get some more. <laughs> Say less. I'm going to go ahead and conceal. Um, and I'm going to, once I get to like my powders and stuff, I'm just going to stop talking and just show you the products. I will listen this time in the description since it is like a first impression type ordeal. Um, speed through the rest because I don't want this to be too long again. So anyway, this is a camo con concealer. Uh, concealer. And this is in the shade Deep Chestnut love this stuff this is the matte kind of like finishy one i'm not too crazy about the satin one i don't know i just because i'm so oily y'all especially my season like i have to have something gonna keep me together see and this here does a job keeps me matte honey and it dries down super duper quick so you gotta move super duper fast with it unlike the um satin one that you know you can have a little time fit to sit you know or blend it out not as soon as you will this one but um and I like the color of this one. It's very uh, yellowy-ish. And I love yellowy-ish type ordeals when it comes to concealers. But y'all, I'm just like astounded right now. Astounded. They look good, good. Let me go and blend this out. Let me top tripping. I'm use this pointy tip to do my concealer. I'm loving the sponge too. It's so big and like squishy, squishy. Ooh, feels good. All right, I got to look down because I can't really see how I want to see right here. Um... Yes, girlfriend. Y'all comment down below how you liking this look so far. This blend with this CC cream, which looking like a foundation. Let me see. Come in, how y'all liking how this looking? Are you going to go out and purchase? Let us know in the comments, honey. Let's discuss. I think I hear my neighbor or somebody outside. I never want to know so bad. What should we be doing in there? Because <laughs> I know they see the lights and stuff. Well, it's running like pretty bright. This one right here, anyway. Um, I'll take my concealer over my eyelid, too, you guys. And that's just to go ahead and knock that step out real quick. I gotta have to bring my um, concealer highlight too far down. Need to do better with that. But again, I didn't do disclaimer this time before I even started. I am not a makeup artist, sir. I just like to do this because it's therapeutic for me. Like I said in my last video, I got into the start of quarantine last year. There was literally nothing else to do outside of me training and going to the gym. I was bored to death. And I don't even know how I stumbled upon the makeup video. It was like, it's crazy. Like, I've never really been girly, girly, really. Uh, makeup was never nothing that I was just crazy about wanting to get into. Um, but I did always like how I looked on other folks. And I was like, man, I wonder, can I do that, you know? And from there, really kind of how I started Googling, like, beginner makeup type situations on YouTube. And that's how I stumbled upon the channels that I love now. Had a lot of nice beginner YouTube um, videos with makeup and everything. And, yeah. That's kind of how I got into it. So, now that I put it there, I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, I have to move fast to do some silver. I was going to try and do a full ordeal here, but I guess I will go and put it everywhere else that I normally would conceal. And while I'm looking up here, looking down here, like I said, I can't really see <laughs> as well as I need to looking up here. But I'm just so pleased with this, um, uh, whatever it's called, tabletop ring situation thing. It's working out perfectly thus far. So I'm going to go ahead and um, kind of dab. My sponge, get a little bit of excess of that CC cream off the bottom. Like, see my bottom part of the sponge, do this part of my face. Bend it out. Like I said, I get some powder. 
which is here in a minute. I'm going to um, speed through the rest of this. Because y'all never seen me do, you know, this part of my makeup, you know, as far as um, powders and all that good jazz. So we're here for the CC cream today. Anyway, so that's the focus of today's video. And so far, y'all, and some of my impressions thus far, honey, it was, it's giving me life. It's giving me my life. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I love that there's no house like right in front of me. So it's not as weird, you know, with everybody riding by. They can't see my blinds like all the way up, but you know, whatever. That's how we're looking so far with the concealer and the CC cream. Yes, ma'am. Here for it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face, speed this up, and I'm going to come back on with a finished look, and we're going to see how this all came together in the end, hunty. We're going to really see it's self-serving. So, y'all can just watch me do this little part here, and we're going to come back on with a finished look. Ryan Little. <laughs> So welcome back. This is the finished look. I went ahead while I was off camera and just finished up my eyes, well, my brows, my shadow, lashes, and a little bit of gloss here. And this is what the finished complexion is looking like. The elf do it or what? Wow, this looks like every bit of a foundation. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I'm loving it. So for the eyes really quick, let me go ahead and go through everything I just, every product I just used first of all. Let me take this off. I like to see how my hair looks with it down. Um, I don't think y'all have seen me with my hair down either. Like I've always come on with like this little type situation going on. Um, so yes, honey. Like, don't mind my edge. Yeah. You look dry. Wait a minute. <laughs> Y'all seeing all this firsthand, all right? So I've been locked for like five years now. Um, it was five years in uh, December of last year. Wow, time flies. I like to put my bronze, like I told y'all, into my hairline. Makes it look a little bit more natural. My, my edge is nothing, or nothing is usually never showing anyway. Um, usually all that's showing is a little bit of my forehead. I like to flip my hair over because I moisturized it. Really needs a wash. I moisturized really good this morning. Um, so this is usually how I wear my hair. I like my little side part action. And they pretty long, child. Pretty long. So, girl, I be throwing my hair. I come in the club throwing my... <laughs> That's something I would come in my hair. That part, anyway. Look, if you buck. But, um... 
Yes, ma'am. I mean, yeah, you can't tell me who had no foundation, hunty. I mean, it is giving the girls full coverage. Ooh. Like I said, never mind the edge job, all right? Anyways, I mean, I mean, it's the base for me, sis. I'm here for it. All right, anyways, let me get into the product. So that's the whole point of me like doing this. All right, so the claims on this here beautiful CC cream from Elf Honey says that, um, well, I'm gonna read the back of it. Well, read the start and read the front of it. it. Says it's a color correcting, full coverage, natural finish, which I'm getting very much so natural finish vibes from this. Natural finish um, CC cream, skin loving ingredients from collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. Um, and the back reads, dish your basic foundation, this color correcting cream. I said what I said. Let me reread it again. Elf is messy. It said, dish your basic foundation. All right, it's called everything else basic around these parts. This color correcting cream is the only product you need to achieve a natural looking complexion, but with full coverage. Yes, ma'am. I can attest to the full coverage. Um, I used just a little bit. Y'all saw that. A multitasking dream cream infused with collagen, peptides, and niacinamide known to plump, hydrate, and smooth the appearance of your skin while protecting your skin with SPF 30. I forgot to even say that it has SPF 30 in it. Um, so yes, ma'am. Yeah. So far, it's 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 giving me it's giving me life. Move my light down a little bit. Um, oh yeah, I wasn't supposed to see it. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, it's better up like that. Anyways, yeah, it's giving me life though, honey. I'm here for this. Um, then really quickly, what else did I buy? Oh, the sponge, A1, like it. I'm going to make a habit, y'all, of cleaning my sponges after every use. I'm not going to sit here and let these build up. That's really disgusting. It gets bacteria on it. And it's not good for your skin overall. You want to keep your sponges and your brushes clean as much as possible. Um, so yeah, that's, I knew it's going to be dope. All the reviews I saw so far on that, it's pretty good. And this here from Maybelline is really an eyeliner, but I use it as a brow pencil. I like it. Um, it's called a Line Express um, Eyeliner, um, creamy, smooth color, easy blend, all that. It was really good to, really easy to put on. For somebody that's like a beginner with brows like myself, I'm not no expert in none of this. Um, pencils are the by far the easiest, quickest ways for me to do my brows. Um, and I like how they came out. This is very easy to use. It glided on. Um, loved it. It wasn't chalky. You know, some of these pencils can be a little chalky for me anyway. And that was like really easy to apply. And then also this here Elf uh, No Budge Shadow Stick. Um, I got this color in Golden Goddess. I love a goldy, bronzy kind of light type situation going on in the lid. Um, and so basically it says this No Budge Creamy this no budge creamy metallic eyeshadow features a long lasting formula that helps avoid smudging, increasing this formula. The smooth formula glides on easily and flawlessly, creating a one, sw one swipe application. The included sharpener has a sharpener on it too. The included sharpener allows you to sharpen the tip to use as an eyeliner or to sharpen after everyday use. So anyway, you can use it as an eyeliner type situation, like if you want to do an eyeliner or if you want to use it as a shadow. It's like a one swipe kind of ordeal. And it was really, um, let me show you the texture of it. It was very um, easy to use. I loved the color. It was really pretty. Uh, I do a little, well, I kind of swatched it already for myself just to be able to get an idea. But um, well, not good. I'll be a swatch and shit. We're going to see. So it's so bronzy. Here for that. I love a bronzy look. So what I did is I used my, um, that powder I showed y'all, that Black Radiance. Uh, it's a pressed press foundation powder, but I use it as a bronzer because I like the undertone of it. Um, so anyway, I used that in my crease and then i just decided oh well i just kind of put it a little bit up above the crease too and i put it on the sides and the sides here and i tried to create this halo eye so i just basically took the pencil thing smudged it in the middle of my eye took my shadow cleaned it up you know so it didn't look like i just had you know swiped that on my lid so anyway this is how it's looking um it's pretty i like it and get a little closer sorry so yeah Mm -hmm. I'm close to period. I see his complexion, honey. I think I did good today <laughs> to be a beginner. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, it looked like a foundation. It's crazy, though. It's, you know, on the site, it reads as a foundation, but the labeling says CC cream. So, I'm like, which one is it, Elf? 
but anyways on the lips really quick i just put on um this nyx butter gloss i love these i got like every shade i think possible this is the ginger snap ginger snap shade and then i also topped it with a little bit of this lifter gloss from maybelline these are so bomb so dupes so dupes uh to the kkw glosses um, I don't have any of them, but from what I've seen, uh, other influencers review and the packaging and everything looks just like those glosses, if you ask me. Um, anyway, then these these kind of mimic a lot of the fancy, um, not the cream glosses just launched, but the other ones. Uh, anyways, another story on that. This is the shade Crystal, though. I love it. Got little specks of gl um, gold in it. You know, to kind of play off of this uh, shadow kind of ordeal. So, can y'all see? I didn't put a lighter on, by the way. Because for me, my lips are already like dark around the side of them anyway, around them anyway, on the outer portion of it. So yeah, so that's pretty much all the products I use today, y'all. And I enjoy every last one of them. Um, they all did its purpose. I am just really more so the star of the show, honey, honey, the show. You can't tell me it didn't show up today, honey. But anyways, that was a thumbnail, by the way. <laughs> so yes, ma'am, I love it. Like... I want to do a wear's hands, but I can't lie and tell y'all that I will do that because I got to take this all off to go to the gym. I got to train, honey, and I can't go to the gym. Not with this on, like the shadow and all this. That's not the video I'm going to share with y'all as well. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I want to do something like uh, a quick 10-minute, no makeup, but slight makeup type gym situation for girls that do like put on a little something, look cute in the gym because I'm awful looking cute in the gym. It's just certain things that I don't do like a full face like this. But there are things that you can do, so be on the lookout for that to kind of look like, you know, you did a little something you didn't do no, You didn't do something when you want to go to the gym to train. So anyways, that's it for this video, lovelies. Um, I can't keep, I can't stop staring at myself. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, get a little side extra for y'all if I go. Anyways. That's it. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please, 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 if you have not already, sis, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. That's what it's there for. Go ahead and hit that subscribe to my channel so that way you don't miss any notifications. Hit the bell as well so you don't miss the, no notifications um, of any new uploads that I'm posting. Um, and yeah, like this video, share it with some friends of yours, um, help a sister out, all the good jazz. Comment down below if you like this look. Um, if you think Elf is here for us, if, if Elf is serving us, Comment down below if you plan on picking this up. It was very in inexpensive, very affordable, $14, and I'm loving it. I'm here for it. So anyways, that's it for this video, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.